is only to steal away a red, so it's definitely the minimum advantage gotten from the comp they've picked up. But you have to think the roam to mid. There's a lot of potential there. Yeah, Cloud going to be unseen here as well. The hook lands on Adate. In comes Cool, misses the charm, but it doesn't matter. An easy first blood pickup for OMG. He's going to be able to capitalize by picking up this dragon as well. One thing that we have to mention is the fact that Looper is able to free farm here in this top lane, but OMG having the beginning of this game that they... So both AD carries have gone back to pick up a BF, so it's Dade again. Yeah, there's the flash hook to come through here as well. Oh, flashes into the charm, the cataclysm for the slam dunk for Loveling. First out of turret is the mid one, as in the top, go goings in trouble. Yeah, there's the onslaught of sh** to come through. Does kick him back here as well as the resonating strike comes through, go going. Does delay his death just a little bit, but Looper does manage to secure it. OMG, on the other hand, they pick up the outer turret in the mid lane. Item pickups on their other carries. They're happy for a long laning phase, but you can see OMG, they don't want that at all. Yeah, there's the solar flare onto Cool here as well, but Love City, you are most definitely dead. No Fates call available. Cloud almost falls down there as well, but go goings here. There are five members of OMG here on the bottom side. Orbit Deception easily secures that one. Dade comes around. Doesn't have the ult quite available just yet. Doesn't even use it, actually, as the Sonic Wave is going to be found. But Condi's going to die. Looper jumps in and kills Cloud. But that is an ace at 14 and a half minutes. Keep extending the game. It gives M3 more and more of a chance. Lovelink's going to get stunned up. There's a Zenith Blade here as well. Isn't able to take the Dark Passage. There's actually Fate's Call used just because he wanted to switch focus onto Cloud here. Cool is round the backside. Condi's going to fall down here at the same time as M3 have started a fight that they may not have won. There's the Gravity Field. Lovelink's going to die. Uzi gets just caught up by the ult there as Dade falls down. A double kill instantly. Orbit Deception and Charm are going to land here as well. But Candy. He's still alive, and the dragon is very angry at OMG for killing it before, but three for two at this stage, and that was a fight that M3 wanted. Miracle steal coming through from Condi. He actually does hit the Q on the dragon. He might go in, but we can see, yep, they stopped the DPS. Very smart from OMG. I worry about this Dade build he's looking for. He's looking for basically the burst build, the maximum Chaos Storm damage build. You know, the in one rotation of spells is all he's going to get out with no cooldown reduction whatsoever, by maybe the blue buff coming through. Go going, he's happy to fight under turret, doing just fine at the top. As the bot lane goes down, we're seeing a fight in bot lane. Yeah, Uzi actually managed to pick that one up. Candy dancing around here as well. It's a nice solar flare. Candy so incredibly low. Love City now in trouble as Uzi's on him. And Loveling, of course, he's here on the bottom side as Uzi picks up the kill onto Love City at the same time. And this red buff, easy as you like. Candy was there. Loveling actually going to come through stunned up here. The Cataclysm onto Dade is go going. Teleports in from the backside. Candy does have his ultimate available. Love City going forward, trying to stun up the AD carry in the backside as Looper comes through, but he's so low. Uzi just finishes him up. Candy can't find the rend onto Uzi here. Condi doesn't even land it. He kicks Uzi in the head eventually. But M3, they've lost everyone barring Love City for two members. And that, a flash suicide engage and the perfect chaos time to engage. But again, the Bissell Scepter's completed. There's magic resist across the board. They might have got a pick on Yeah, cool. there's the old, oh, decent use of the gravity field in response to the fear, but cool, able to use that Zonius to survive through it. And Dade trying to throw out some death rays. Does he manage to land that one? Dodges out of the way of that ability as the solar flare comes through onto Cloud. Orbit Deception not going to do any damage to him because, of course, he is Cool's teammate, so that's absolutely fine. Slooper, though, no flash trapped in the Cataclysm. Does survive for quite some time. Another Gravity Field to come through here as well as this fight is extended very, very far. Candy makes his way in, and somehow no one's dead. Wants to pick when there's sort of no other choice. There's no comfort Dade champions. Condi's actually going to safeguard his way into the backside of this Dragon Pit. OMG giving a lot of respect now to M3. There's the solar flare. Doesn't really find anyone as the Cullen comes through the backside. Fate's Call coming down as well as Looper jumps in just to die, basically. Condi's going to fall down at the same time. Love City, he's a tanky Leona, but I don't think tanky really comes into it because he was torn apart by Uzi. And that's really sin. As we see Uzi and Looper, I think Looper's uh, maybe going to die. Oh my goodness. That death sentence was unbelievable from Cloud. The get back here Death sends to come through. And I mean, I think that Looper was probably dead anyway. Condi's going to find Cool, or is Cool going to find Condi as Dade trying to get some damage down? Cool incidentally kills Condi there from the backside. Nice death ray to come down here. Chaos Storm. Cool has to be careful. Flashes over the wall. The flash from Dade. The follow up is wanted, but the cavalry arrives. In comes the culling as Dade just gets shot to death. Cloud picks up the kill.
And somehow, all of a sudden, three are dead for M3. And it's going to continue, oh, Alice. Oh, the flash into the death sentence. This is a highlight reel for Cloud, this game. It's a highlight reel for OMG in general. You let them pick mid-game power, you take late game, and you take a loss, Atlas. There's nothing that they can do. The surrender comes through, and OMG, they make it look easy. Yeah, almost too easy here, but...